How to be a lame duck. People say lame duck like it's a bad thing, but there are definite perks to being on your way out of the Oval Office. You will need friends to pardon, presidential appointments to make, bills to veto, executive orders, long weekends, cute intern or lobbyist, Camp David, and a federal rebate program. Step one, as the president, you have the power to hand your friends a get out of jail free card. You may have used it responsibly while in office, but now that there are no consequences, go crazy. Pardon anyone and everyone who could be useful to you in civilian life. Yeah. Don't be hasty. See how many gifts you can accrue from people who want their loved ones sprung before you make any decisions. Step two, reward your most stalwart supporters with presidential appointments that the Senate doesn't have to confirm, like cushy Caribbean ambassadorships. Step three, declare war on Switzerland. How are you gonna stay neutral now, Miss Swiss Priss? Step four, veto legislation that is near and dear to your enemies' hearts, just for funsies. And veto anything that would increase taxes for the rich. Who ever heard of a poor ex-president? Step five, take lots of long weekends. Who cares if the press calls you lazy? Another bonus of being a lame duck? The press probably won't pay attention to you at all. Step six, go ahead. Enjoy an inappropriate relationship with that cute intern or lobbyist you've had your eye on. It's not like a sex scandal can take you down at this point. Step seven, enjoy Air Force One while you still can. And wouldn't you enjoy it more if it were redecorated in a nice leopard print? Waste some fuel doing flybys over the homes of old political rivals. Step eight, make some fast cash renting out the Lincoln bedroom. Yeah. Step nine, think ahead. Soon you'll be a lowly average citizen. Deport anyone you find annoying so there's no chance you'll have to deal with them in the real world. Step 10, throw yourself a huge going away party at Camp David. Don't worry your pretty little head about cleaning up for your successor. Step 11, Sneak a resolution through Congress that gives every man, woman, and child in the U.S. a $5,000 check. Think of the instant goodwill. Sure, it will create a huge national deficit, but that's not your problem anymore. Did you know Franklin D. Roosevelt issued 3,687 pardons and commutations, more than any other U.S. president?